Hey guys, what's going on? So here in Indiana, it is the morning of May 23rd and hanging out in the mom and dad mobile. So mom and papa Patton being awesome as they have been this entire time, driving me everywhere, you know, making sure I'm at all my appointments and everything. Big appointment this morning though. Staples are coming out. I know Justin and JT kind of highlighted that fact, but thought I'd try and, you know, get some footage so maybe Justin and I could get a little bit of a vlog together. Um, the lady that's taking the staples out, she's an amazing nurse practitioner. She's awesome. Um, so, but we are going to get all these guys out today, hopefully. So let's, uh, let's see if she'll let me vlog it while I'm in the room and we'll go from there. So hanging out with her here and let's see, uh, we brought her a JKR gift because doesn't everybody want a JKR gift? Right. So what do we have here? All right. So this is, uh, of course, you had to have some JKR stickers. <laughs> Awesome. And then um, we That's include great. these awesome cards with all of our shirt and snake orders. And it just shows some of the really cool stuff we've produced over the year. And some of the really cool babies we've hatched. Yeah. You, so. You hybrid breed these? So, so yeah, all, all these we've bred in facility. Um, we, we do all the genetic, genetic combinations, just produce some of these incredible, incredible animals. So it is really cool what we get to do, and, and we love it, and there's a whole community out there that absolutely loves it. Are your snakes going to take over the world? Are you well, yeah, that's the whole plan, you know. Oh, what do we got here? And then this is actually <laughs> is the so charity great. shirt that they have made for me because <laughs> I am silly that and known as Batman great. online. That is great. I love it. So, that, yeah. That is excellent. All right, am I supposed to put it on? You can if you want. So, see, guys, we had to hook her up with some JKR swag. And because and she's said awesome. I should wear a shirt. <laughs> okay, I got my shirt. Look, that is Look what's up, that. guys. That's right. This is my new shirt. Fancy. So, let's, uh, let's get some staples out. That sounds fun, right? It does. I think it's great. That would be bad. <laughs> Hey YouTube, so we have a very special show for you today and we brought a special guest. This is Tony Thomas, a uh, great friend here in the state of Georgia and he's here to pick up an animal that just fits perfectly with today's video. And uh, I'll let him introduce the animal, it's, it's uh, pretty awesome. <laughs> very, uh, very glad to be able to have that one for sure. Yeah, oh, I'm pretty excited about putting it into the program. For sure, well so I promised that we show the Inchi lavender leopard blackhead clutch they turned out amazing after shed just absolutely incredible and tony here had the eye to see through the shed that's what you know as somebody who really knows their ball pythons is they'll see a snake in shed and they they don't see it for what it looks like <laughs> they see it for what it'll be you know they'll kind of they can eliminate that like a, like a filter yeah. a photo filter in your eyes if you see that without the shed it absolutely did not look anything like right what it does now right so. just incredible so all right guys so here they are after shed and they've been sitting on the table for a little bit and they're already kind of raring to go. So this is the Inchi Leopard Blackhead Lavender. And you can see that the shed completely transformed the animal. The, uh, the color, of course, is much, much stronger with the yellow and everything, but the, the pink or the, the bright orange in between here came in much stronger after shed. And then this is the one that Tony's getting. So it fits in really, really well with his collection because he has so much amazing blackhead stuff. Tony, if you want to tell us a little bit about what you see in this animal that... I'll grab this one. <clears throat> the, uh, the blackhead lavender albino, which I already have now, is um, it's pretty a unique animal, but the Inchi brings so much more to this, the, the palette, color palette on this. Um, blackhead in general usually have uh, your keyholes, um, as you can see, the inchy kind of washes that away. Um, and, and the pink or orange is just 
I knew I had to have Inchy into my lavender albino projects this year. And when Justin showed me this out of the egg a couple of weeks ago, I knew this was the one that I had to have. Um, absolutely fascinating, fascinating animal. The orange pink down the sides. Really can't wait to see how this glows, especially after seeing the inchy leopard that he had um, previously from last year. Right, we expect this animal to continue to improve over the next six months a lot, like change a lot more um, in color. And it'll be really interesting to see that happen. Hopefully we get some updates from you. Absolutely. On this animal. But let's talk a little bit about, in general, how well inchy, we'll show some examples later on that, that we have of the um, the inchy blackheads in general. Like why, why do those genes work so well together, you think? Uh, I'm not really sure. I think uh, I think the inchy adds a lot of color. Um, I will explain this later in what blackheads capable of doing. Um, but I think the color and the, the, the pattern, blackheads so strong that it takes a you know a heavy gene to actually do something um, unique with blackhead, mm -hmm. and the inchy just seems to to make that happen. Right. It's weird how they kind of work over the top of each other too. Yep. You know. In a way, like neither of them, they're both kind of suppressing the other one, but in such a unique way that it creates a complete that's completely different. Absolutely. So that's really neat. But yeah, well, we wanted to share these with you guys. I promise that we'd show you how they're improving. And I wanted to make sure we did the video before uh, Tony took his home and we, we lost the opportunity to film that again. But it turned out really incredible. And we hope to have one more clutch of these coming and we'll hopefully see some more variations and uh, get some more examples to, uh, to show you guys. All right, so when I heard Tony's coming up, I was like, you gotta bring some of your really cool blackhead stuff. Um, he does some really interesting things and has focused on that one undervalued gene and put a ton of really cool things together. So let's check out some of those really awesome animals. All right, so show us some of the really cool project animals you brought with us here today. All right, so here we have a blackhead, inchy, lesser, black pastel, red gene. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. I and mean, look at how it all comes together, though. Yeah, the uh, the black pastel was actually easy to pick out. Um, we have made a bunch of blackhead inchy lessers, and this this guy just stood out completely um, from the rest of those. So, so this is a really unique color. Um, what do you think is you know the biggest influence on the color of this animal? Uh, to be honest, I, I think it's actually a true combination of everything involved in it because right it takes every part of it. Yep, like that way. Um, right. to get that rusty um, pastelish color. But look at that 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 just that shade. You know, an inchy is obviously super key to it. Exactly. Inchy blackhead are just you know two things that just work so well together. All right, so this has got a little bit of paradox on it. Absolutely, right here. A couple of little tiny spots on it. So this is a, a pretty unique animal here. Uh, blackhead, leopard, lesser, orange dream, um, possible head pod. And I'm sure the well, head pod will actually prove on this, but given, sure. given the dorsal strap. Yeah, so head pods tend to make, make um, leopard combos stripe out a lot. Um, and uh, so you could, it's kind of like an indicator in this situation. So we're kind of using the head to make the animal look better, even though uh, you don't necessarily want to make a pie with this because it's less or right. which is all white, right? So, right. Which is what I've done with the mother. The mother is actually the leopard lesser head pied. Gotcha. Um, and I chose not to make pies, visual pies with her. The OD is doing a lot in this snake though for the color. It's yeah, really cool. I think so too. Um, obviously the blackhead leopard lesser has been made um, mm -hmm. A few times, I believe, even especially the uh, the blackhead Mojave leopard, and it looks similar to this. But the color format that the orange dream brings to this is uh, so cool. Yep. All right. So this is the blackhead cypress yellow belly. Wow. The head on that thing, like that, that deep, deep maroon color. Where's there? It's raring to go now. Look at that. That's cool. And 
And the yellow belly is cool because a yellow belly and blackhead are really neat. They had all this this cool what I call like popcorn sides yep. <laughs> with these little white like kernels coming up the side almost. And it's a really neat look. A few over there too. So what influences the cypress in this one? Um, obviously the head mm -hmm. and uh, the, the head pattern or uh, the head color on this. It's not typical of a uh, blackhead yellow belly by itself. Um, and then the pattern is just completely different than mm -hmm. actually anything I've ever seen. Right. Um, so it, it has to be the blackhead and cypress interacting Mm -hmm. To uh, to do that, especially across the back, and cut the white edging that Cypress brings in. Yep, to so many of those combos. That's really neat. All right, so this is a hypo desert ghost combo, and you guys are always asking me to show more hypo desert ghosts because they just turn this really amazing, almost blue color, really incredible. Um, so tell me about this animal and how you made it, because you made it with some some surprise in the clutch, right? Yes, uh, we actually didn't know the uh, the father to this was a. Uh, Hit hypo. Uh, we were just shooting for uh, yeah, so cool. uh, desert ghost stuff, and uh, actually got hypos in the clutch, and then of course this hypo desert ghost. How cool is it to hit a double recessive on accident? Uh, very. Yeah. <laughs> very cool. Um, we're also away. assuming that this is uh, chocolate. Now there was chocolate on both sides of the uh, parent. Yeah, and, I think uh, so. I think it is chocolate. Doesn't uh, exactly gorgeous. look like a uh, typical hypo desert ghost. So gorgeous. Okay, so it's amazing you made this animal. It's one of those most crazy, desirable combos out there that almost nobody knows about. <laughs> yes, the super blackhead stuff is, in my opinion, one of the uh, most amazing super forms that they're out there. And then stacking hypo on top of that right. definitely made this animal um, something spectacular. So this is a hypo super blackhead. Um, plus what else? We have the uh, red gene and ringer gene in this animal. Um, we can see the, uh, the ringer gene in this really good. Um, it's not actually, doesn't have anything to do with the ringer on the tail so much as the rings around these alien heads. Mm -hmm. um, they're also, the alien heads are usually floated up a little bit more than normal. Yeah, you have all this pattern underneath it and they're just kind of like up off the, off mm -hmm. the belly. That's cool. And then uh, the red jeans a little difficult to see in this, but the blushing mm -hmm. is really high, and you can usually see the red jean more in the in the babies. Right. Um, when the, the the darkness of the snake eats the red jean a lot. Sure, but they also you know it tends to create the black back effect. You yes, know, it does. where they don't have the the striping on the back anymore. Uh, I've noticed that the red jean will usually have a little bit of dorsal stripe, mm -hmm. no back stripe, and then they'll have a slight. Right, on the dorsal neck. strap on the neck. It's so true. So I think it's a good example too of, you know, how you've been patient with your collection because in order to make an amazing combo like this, you have to be able to put female blackheads on the shelf during a time when most people aren't really recognizing the value in blackheads. Most people um, are overlooking uh, the potential there. During that time, you have to be investing in yourself and putting three years worth of girls. Exactly. Right. Especially when, when people are telling you, oh, that's a dead project. Oh, a dead project. Yeah, you hear that on everything. But the reality is, is that if you have patience and you have a vision for it, no project is dead. Exactly. Um, they're all just a few, you know, really careful pairings away from something spectacular like this. So that's big, big props to you. Thank you. All right, so this is, we have an awesome clutch here. This is a blade clown. Really, really highly reduced pattern. Gorgeous. So I like blade clown not so much for the reduced pattern part of it, but just because they're so bright and high contrast. Honestly, I like blade clowns to have lots of pattern because there's so much manipulation you can do of that pattern. Um, so the cool thing is that we put it some really crazy pattern morphs into it. Um, spot nose, when you put blade of the spot nose clown, it pretty much brings the all that pattern back. Spot nose overwhelms the blade. 
Um, but this is a leopard spot nose confusion head clown to her. So we have three powerful, powerful pattern mutations into her, and we're gonna see how they all play out. This is my second um, confusion clown clutch for this season, and hopefully we'll see a visual that's really, really amazing. Hopefully it'll play well with those other genes. Let's, uh, let's see how she did here. It was like a really good sized clutch. Let's see. We got four, eight, nine. All right, solid. Let's see what she's been. Let's see, what Let's see what she's done for me in the past. Last year she had seven. The year before that she had seven. So this is that jumping ahead a little bit on previous seasons. And she just finished laying these. You know, soft they are to pull apart. That's that's the ideal time to do it if you're going to do it. Plus she's a little. Uh, tired so she's not going to put up quite the same uh, kind of fight. It takes a lot out of them. A clutch like this, especially for, oh, she's probably about 2,500 grams um, pre-lay, it'll take, you know, a good thousand grams out of them at least, you know, which is, you know, more, a, th a good third of their body weight. See how thin she is now. They really give up a lot of their, uh, their fat reserves and body weight in order to lay these eggs. So we pump them back, give them all the food they want, make sure that she uh, is nice and healthy again. My hand, <laughs> my hand looks kind of rough there. The pin blew up on me. So that's how he gets the snake so black. Scandal. <laughs> it's all part of it. <laughs> All right, guys, that was a lot of fun. And thank you, Tony, for sharing your amazing snakes. Um, what a treat it was to get Chase back on the vlog this week, man. It's so good to see him and uh, see he's recovering and can't wait to get back here, um, back in the saddle. Um, so when Tony was here, we actually did a, a cool interview um, because I wanted to talk to him a little bit about how he started his collection because he's somebody who's making some really interesting things. He's definitely following his own kind of path and road, making some really neat stuff. And yet he's started on a real budget. A lot of people ask me, do you have to spend a lot of money in order to do well in this business? Um, and I can say no, I can say yes, but the reality is, is that it's much more useful to hear from somebody who actually did start with just a little bit and has built an amazing collection over a period of time. So Tony's just the guy to talk about that and I'll be uploading that interview on Sunday is the plan. Thanks so much guys for watching and I'll plan on seeing you again next week.